Hello, and welcome to Playmo City. Phew! Finally, all is calm again at the Parkers. Mr. Parker finally succeeded in programming Robert's feelings. That makes Robert the world's first robot that can feel things. Listen. What a wonderful day. I feel just fantastic. And I'm looking forward to school. Really? Well, I'm also excited about today. We are going on a trip to Dinosaur Park. And today, we are learning the polyadic number system to base three. Could that be any more exciting? <laughs> Everyone has their own likes and dislikes. That's what I think. And now, you all need to get going. Before we begin the lesson, I would like to introduce a new student. This is B25 Alpha. <laughs> is everything okay? It almost looks as if Robert has suffered a short circuit. Maybe someone should tell Mr. Parker? Oh no, he's just driving Bennett and Lisa to the dinosaur park. Cool, that looks like a real jungle temple. Wow, I'd really like to see it now too. But I have to get to the Space Center. We have an important test today. See you later, have fun. I hope he doesn't run into my dad. He's sure to give him a speeding ticket. He would be better off catching Eddie and this frog eye. Or have they already been arrested? Unfortunately not, but I think the other thief is called Fisheye. You're right, Eddie and Captain Fisheye. I completely forgot about them. Before we go into the museum with the children, let's check in quickly and see what that pair are up to. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on suspicious characters like these. Whoa, a statue made of gold. Check it out, Fisheye. That's the biggest gold statue ever to have been found in Playmo World. Did you hear that? The biggest gold statue ever found. Ah, uh, peanuts. I don't bother with small stuff like that. Small stuff? You call that small stuff? What sort of things do you go for if you call that small stuff? I am going to raid Mars. You're gonna raid what? Mars? How on earth is Captain Fisheye going to raid Mars? That's impossible. Well, at least we won't have to worry about the gold statue then. I'm really excited. The dinosaurs are supposed to look very realistic. Look, the gold statue is up there. It's in Plamo City for the first time. <clears throat> and remember, don't touch anything. And don't be scared. Even if the dinosaurs move, they are only models. Ooh, it's good that Mr. Coleman said that. Otherwise, I would have almost believed they were real. <laughs> These dinosaurs were around 13 meters tall. So tall that they could easily look into a window on the third floor of a building. Shame that it's not real. Then we'd be rid of those two for good. <laughs> They're scared. They're scared. What did I tell you? There's nothing to be afraid of. By the way, that is a triceratops. By the way, the Triceratops is one of the most well-known and most thoroughly researched dinosaurs. However, no one has yet discovered a complete skeleton of one. Ooh. And there's no need to be afraid. It was an herbivore. We're not scared. Just you wait. We'll show you. Exactly. When we've caught the thieves. I already have an idea. Really? really? Well... Think about it. If you were a thief in Playmo City, what would you want to steal? Chocolate? Bennett's skateboard? 
No, this golden statue, of course. That's why we're going to pitch a tent here tonight. And when the thieves show up, we'll call the police and cash in the reward. Wow! Did you come up with that all on your own? Hmm, that's not such a great idea. After all, we know that the thieves are targeting something else entirely. What's up, Robert? Don't you want to top off your oil? Oh no, are there problems with the programming again? It looks like something has also gone wrong with Lisa's programming. Yes, what's wrong with those two? That is really strange. Everything seemed to be going so well. And now there are problems again. Hmm. But speaking of problems, let's take another quick look to see how Darren and the other thief hunters are doing. Someone's coming. Have you figured it out yet? Hey, why are they turning the lights out? Oh, what's that stinking smell? Sorry, I always have to fart when I'm nervous. Ew, Elmar, what have you been eating? That stinks. Psst, I heard something. Then go and see what it was. Me? Why me? Elmar can go. I'm not crazy. Go yourself. <laughs> so, if you like this as much as I do, give us a thumbs up. And next week, we'll see what happens and what is wrong with Robert and Lisa. See ya, till next time. Elmar! Elmar. Ew. Ew.